this August gathering. Jayant Nilesh, welcome back to school. You're allowed to stay as long as you want, as, as many years you want. Outstanding students of an outstanding school. Outstanding students of an outstanding school. A big round of applause. His Excellency, Mr. Sanjay Verma, the Consul General of India, Board of Trustees, ladies and gentlemen, and privileged students. Privileged. Why privileged? For each one of you who got admitted in the Indian High School, four of your friends or colleagues were not able to get in because of want of seats. The scenario has fortunately improved with the opening of the, of the Indian International School. And we have brought down this ratio from 80% to 60%. You were among the one of the few privilege of 20%. You are the first batch of students which is passing out from an outstanding school. When you write this in your CV, it is going to make a lot of difference. This is a merit by itself. Trust me, in the last 40 years, I've interviewed about 15 to 20,000 candidates, and this will make a difference. What do you think, Nilesh Jain? Am I right? So consider this as a gift from the Indian High School. On the first day of my chairmanship, uh, four years back, Mr. Ashok Kumar asked me, sir, what is your vision? What is your mission statement? What is your vision statement? I told him, I have no vision. I have no mission statement, but I have a wish list. He says, can I know? I said, but you'll have to work hard to achieve it. My first wish on the list was that Indian high school to be known as one of the best Indian schools in the world. And we have achieved this. How and why? I'll tell you a short story. Mr. Robert Isaac, year before last, was the chief inspector on behalf of KHDA. And in the final interview, uh, this is funny, I mean, since last three years, I'm being interviewed after interviewing 20,000 candidates. So he said, Mohan, I have good news for you. I said, oh. He says, there are only two other schools which I have inspected which are as good as the Indian High School. One in US, one is Clifton College in Bristol, and the third one is Indian High. He, he told me, Mohan, Indian High is one of the best schools I have inspected. I said, coming from you, it is really an honor. My immediate response was, Robert, you have made my day. And he really made, not my day, but my year. The Indian High School has become a yardstick of excellence. When people talk about schools in Dubai, in the social circles, they say, oh, is so-and-so school on par with Indian High School, or better than Indian High School, or less than Indian High School? So we are the yardstick of excellence. The second wish on the list was completion of Indian International, which as you know, all know, has the best infrastructure in all the Indian schools outside India. And I challenge, there is no Indian school better than Indian International in terms of infrastructure than the one we have. No Indian school in the world. The third wish on the list was that Indian high school should have the best IT infrastructure and should be ready to educate students for the 21st century. Last year, 
we were awarded the best Indian e-learning school in the world, none other by than the government of India. The fourth wish on the list was Indian high school should achieve the distinction of being graded as an outstanding school by KHDA. This, as you all know, as you all are aware, we have achieved. The fifth wish on the list was the results of the Indian high. The Indian high last year was able to achieve fantastic results, one of the best among the Indian schools. I did give an assignment to Ashok uh, to find a school which has performed better than our school, but so far he has not been successful. My compliments to parents, staff, teachers, students, principals, supervisors, and our CEO for fulfilling all my wishes. Thank you very much. <laughs> for the last four years, I've really educated myself also in the last four years. I've benefited a lot from the Indian High School. Uh, being a chairman has not been only work, 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 but I really enjoyed it. I, I realized that there was a child in me. Whenever I came to the Indian high school, I, I felt like playing football, flying a kite, bringing a lunch box to share my lunch with you. Trust me, you all were enjoying your lunch better than having a lunch in a seven-star restaurant. In fact, once I could not resist myself and started, I started flying a, flying a kite. Even Mr. Ashok Kumar could not stop me. He can stop all of you, but he could, he could not stop me. I wish I had a time machine and that I could turn the clock back and become a part of you and have the opportunity to be taught by excellent teachers of the Indian High. You made me realize my weaknesses and my strengths. I, uh, I never knew I had a weakness. I thought I have no weaknesses, but I have. My weakness has been the students of Indian High. I love you all. And, and whenever you love a person, he or she becomes your weakness. My strength has been the staff, especially the teachers of Indian High. During the last four years, I've learned a lot from the school. I've learned to be patient. I've learned to be humble. I've learned what humility is. I've learned to be honest. I was reading the boards when we were walking. I said, yes, I've already achieved all this. And this is all because of you. I consider myself a better person today than I was four years back. Whenever I walk, around the Indian high, I get an aura, I get a bliss, which always energizes me. Ashok, now you know why I always keep coming to the school even when we have no agenda. Sometimes you say, sir, uh, anything, anything I can do for you? I said, no, nothing, I've just come. This is why I celebrate my birthday at the junior school, because it connects me with the inner child and which, is, which helps me to give you unconditional love, unconditional love and understanding. Whatever your choices, whether you proceed to higher education or begin at once your working life, you can be confident that the education you have received at the Indian High has given you the best start you could possibly have. Mr. Jayant Ganwani, Mr. Nilesh Ved, the two shining stars of the Indian High are today in front of you. Thank you all. God bless you all. Shall we do a big round of applause? I was not satisfied your... Uh... Come on! More! Thank you. Thank you all. God bless you. 
I think, friends, this calls for a standing ovation for the great message our chairman has imparted. Let's hear it for him. Thank you very much. Please be seated.